the last place Kevin Gosman was before he signed as a free agent with the Blue Jays was right here in San Francisco as a member of the Giants was an all star here in 2021. Now he comes back to this ballpark for the first time since then as a visitor. So he's taking on an old team of his and on the other side Jordan Hicks is on the mound a former Blue Jay with the Jays the last two months of last year. So a very interesting pitching matchup as the Blue Jays tried and win another series here on the road. Jordan Hicks who is now a starting pitcher. 27 year old right hander pitched in 25 games for the Blue Jays last season after he was acquired from the Cardinals at the deadline. He is now in his first year as a full time starting pitcher. The hot hitting George Springer is going to lead it off. And the 2 1 pitch to Springer is ripped into left field on a base hit. Picking it up off one hop is Michael Conforto, but leading off the ball game with a single is George Springer. Hitting in the two spot today again is Spencer Horwitz, who has been so good and so consistent lately, and then ran into an 0 for 5 last night. The 2 2 pitch. And Horwitz gets on that one, sends it into center field for a base hit, and it goes off the glove of Ramos. He didn't come up with it cleanly. That's allowing Horwitz to get to second. He dives head first. Springer at third. So what a great opportunity early for the Blue Jays. Second and third, nobody out. The batter is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. The infield is back. So this ground ball to second is going to get a run home. It's not fancy, but it gets a run home and it moves Horwitz to third with one out as the Blue Jays take an early one to nothing lead. So now he's sitting there on the corner for Justin Turner. To right field. This is going to be deep enough. Yastrzemski's got to go back to make the catch. Horwitz can tag and score. A professional at bat there by Justin Turner to make it two to nothing. Easy fly ball deep enough to right field to score that run. And now the Blue Jays have an early two nothing lead. Still in the first inning against Jordan Hicks. Here's Danny Jansen. Jansen drives one to deep left and it is gone. Number six on the season for Danny Jansen. That one is highlight worthy and it is three to nothing. <laughs> Danny Jansen goes down and golfs that thing over the wall in left field. Now the Blue Jays are up three nothing in the top of the first. And Kevin Gosman on this mound Joe for the first time since 2021. Back to where he enjoyed his finest big league season after signing a contract with the Giants. 2021 was his first all star season. Came sixth in Cy Young in that season and turned that into a free agent contract with the Blue Jays. Here's Bailey. On the ground to third. Clement is not going to be able to get him. So here is Ramos. The Giants trailing 3 0. Bailey leads from first. Hit high to left. And deep. And out of here. A home run toward left center field. And Elliot Ramos gives the Giants their first two, and they trail 3 to 2. And the Giants are right back in this one. Pretty impressive swing of the bat. Another two strike home run off the bat of Elliot Ramos. Blue Jays three, Giants two to the bottom of the third. And the number nine hitter, the shortstop, Brett Wisely, is going to lead it off for the Giants, hitting 276. And now gets some 97 that got a lot of the plate, but Wisely takes it for strike three. The first strikeout of the game for Kevin Gosman. Fastball up laced to deep left and caught by Davis Schneider two down. <laughs> Kevin knows he got away with one. Elliot Ramos steps up to the plate and the pitch and Ramos sends it into center and it's going to be straight into the glove of Kevin Kiermeyer as they head now to the fourth innings. Lou Jays leading the Giants three two top four two on two out and that'll get the number nine hitter Leo Jimenez to the plate. The three two pitch down Main Street sent up the middle and take that. It's an RBI single for Leo Jimenez and the Blue Jays lead 4 2. Here's Matt Chapman hit a fly ball to center in his first at bat. Line to center. Kiermeyer coming on. And did he catch it or trap it? The call is an out. Both the second and first base umpires are signaling that was a catch. And if it was, what a play by Kiermeyer. He has done it again. See, shading the right center gap. Coming hard and off the bat of the right handed hitter, it's going to slice, and he plays it perfectly to his glove side. A clean catch. He definitely caught it clean. Terrific play. Inning number five, the Giants are trailing the Blue Jays four to two. Spencer Horwitz lifts one deep right field, gone, and hit it on out of the ballpark, and a splash hit 
for Spencer Horwitz as that one winds up in McCovey Cove. So it is five to two Blue Jays number four for Horwitz. Kevin Gosman five good innings gave up the two run homer in the first to Elliot Ramos and has not been scored on since. He has just been challenging them with fastballs this afternoon in the zone. Swung on and missed. One down in the bottom of the sixth. And he is not fooling around today. He's mixed in some splitters, but it's been a lot of heaters against this Giants lineup. If it ain't broke, you don't fix yep. it. Don't try to fix it. And he got him. 95 on the inside corner, back to back strikeouts. They may feel that the Giants have the splitter so much in their heads that they're just going fastball heavy today. Captain digs it out and he pulls it into the hole for a base hit. Giants looking for a little two out thunder here. Runner goes, pitch is high. And Chapman steals his ninth base, and there's Giants' first runner in scoring position this afternoon. So two and two, runner at second, two down. Line to left. Coming over Schneider, and he makes the grab. And that will do it for the Giants. So no rally, no runs, and the Blue Jays still leading 5-2 as we go to the seventh. Gossman trying to get through seven in his final start before the All-Star break. And that is seven very good innings for Kevin Gosman here this afternoon. Kevin Gosman in this ballpark where he had so much success a few years ago wearing the Giants uniform. Seven strong innings today against his old team. So it's on to the bottom of the ninth. The Blue Chase are three outs away from winning their second consecutive series on this road trip. They got started early, got a very good performance from Kevin Gosman, a nice eighth inning from Zach Pop. And now it is Chad Green coming on looking for the save. Chad pitched on Sunday in Seattle, gave up a couple of hits in an inning of work, and he is trying to close this thing down. Very good numbers. That 1570 RA in his 23 games, and he will use an elevated fastball. It's been a very effective fastball, and it's been that way most of his career. He's got it. One down. Now Matt Chapman one for three today he is two for twelve with a homer in the series against his former club. High fly ball to center. Deep but playable for the second out. Five to two Toronto leading the Giants two down and it'll be left up to Mike Yastrzemski. High drive to right and this one's going to go out of here. Great at bat for Yastrzemski, and he plants one up onto the arcade to make it five to three, Toronto. Here's Flores. There's a swing and a miss, and now the ball game is over as Green strikes out. Flores picks up the save, and the Blue Jays take two out of three here in San Francisco. Well, another good start by the Blue Jays starting pitcher. This time it's Kevin Gosman going seven innings against his old team.